today. From Heinz Field in Pittsburgh. It's week 10 of the NFL on EA Sports. As we'll see Matt Ryan the Pittsburgh Steelers versus Justin Herbert and the Cincinnati Bengals. We are at the confluence of the Ohio, Allegheny, and Monongahela Rivers at Heinz Field in Pittsburgh, PA. Nothing like the fanfare of introductions to an NFL game, and that was in evidence a moment ago. Fireworks, pyrotechnics, you name it, this crowd is ready as their guys get set to match up between the Cincinnati Bengals and the Pittsburgh Steelers. With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. Charles, we look at this Steeler ball club entering play. They've been playing their best football of the year. Winners of four in a row. And going back through the... season is here and we're underway on EA Sports. And he takes this near the 25, just a little pass there, called it the 26. So the Steelers offense getting set for their first drive. They'll be led out by their 35-year-old quarterback in his 13th season in the NFL, the former MVP Matt Ryan. And you know how they say it's not about the money? Sometimes it is about the money. Matt Ryan is going to average $30 million in salary per year now as one of the highest paid quarterbacks in the NFL, and he more than deserves it. The NFL's MVP in 2016. Only a couple there as he'll be brought down about the 28. Defensively here, you're facing a top five team in terms of points scored in the NFL, so when they're that high powered, you've got to find a way to hold them under 20, because to me, that's the magic number. 20 points score gives yourself a, you give yourself your best chance to win. So if they're up around 24, 28, 30, they could be in some trouble. And I think so because then you turn it into a shootout, and that means your offense has to keep pace. Well, there's plenty of real estate for him to maneuver on that run, and let's face it, it shouldn't be a surprise. He's one of the better backs in the league. Had to come into this game with the idea, slow him down. Otherwise, it's going to be a long afternoon. So a solid run by Saquon Barkley and another first and 10 here. From the gun, it's Ryan. The Bengal pressure gets him that time. Down he goes. It was Eric Armstead fighting his way through that time to record the sack. Great job defensively. I think he was trying to go through his progressions, find someone to get rid of the football. Before he knew it, he was on his back. So that just brings us right back to what you said in the beginning. A great job defensively. Nowhere to go with the football. That led to the sack. Work to be done here on second and 16 after the sack. Another try after the first down sack. Ryan under pressure again, and down he goes again. Tack McKinley able to record his fifth sack of the season. Well, the beauty of screen passes is they take a little time to develop, and they can often hit big, but sometimes they take too long to develop, and sometimes you get sacked. Yeah, you know, what's perfectly called for a defense to attack a screen? Typically a blitz, and even though people think that the screen operates against the blitz, if you have the blitz called and you still cover the screen, now that allows your blitzers to get there. That's complete to his receiver, Godwin. Ryan's pass. It's a gain of 11, but they're still well short. It's fourth down. That's certainly playing down in distance very well by the defense, isn't it? Take whatever you want underneath, by all means.
The Steelers send out their punter now. Back deep, Jakeem Grant. They only punted twice in the win last week as he gets this one away. So just a three-yard return following a punt of 45. And the Bengals will take over here first and 10. So now the Bengals get ready for their first drive. Leading them out, the number six overall pick back in April from Oregon, it's Justin Herbert. And you've got to think that they've got to be feeling pretty fresh. You know, coming off of the open week, didn't have to play, right? Gives them a chance to rest up a little bit, heal some of those aches and pains and excited about playing again. That really rekindles things a little bit. I want to see how they come out and establish themselves here early. And that bye week coming right where they want it in the middle of the schedule. Eight yards on the pickup, brings up second and two. On second down, Freeman. And he will lose yardage and be backed up to the 24. It'll be a loss of a full three yards there, and it also brings up third down. This defense is a difficult one to prepare for, one of the best in the league. They'll come at you from all angles, and they did a nice job there stopping him for a loss. And the Steelers now in the nickel here on third down. A shotgun snap for Herbert. Open man is Jacob Hollister. And he is going to have a Bengals first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Catch number 44 of him on the year. It's a first down. They've got good playmakers on the offensive side of the ball. I don't know what happened last week to, to really hurt their performance and, and hold down their production, but I would dare say that this week in practice, there's a lot of talk about how they're going to increase their proficiency. And that was a good start, getting the playmakers involved. You mentioned that to me pregame. That's what they did there. Yeah, I think a lot of people think the coaching staff really gets on them, and that's how they motivate them. Most of these guys are self-motivated. They have a lot of pride in their performance. And that one goes for about six as he's taken down just shy of the 45. Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. It's a pickup of six. Out of the gun, Herbert, and it's incomplete. I don't see more of them trying to get him the football out of the backfield. They love what he can do in open space, and they believe that he creates mismatches they can exploit. Down and four. Out of the backfield, this is Devontae Booker. And he is going to have a Bengals first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. It goes as a gain of nine, and it moves the chains. We often talk about understanding the playbook, understanding progressions, and understanding what the defense is doing. We saw all of that on that play. Great recognition and understood where his running back was going to be. Found a way to have him leak out underneath, hit him with the football, and they picked up the first down. Herbert setting up to throw on first down. Oh, a ball batted in the air, and now it's intercepted. Picked by Nick Kukowski. And the possession is theirs at their own 43-yard line. That time defensively looked like they showed quite a bit of pressure, but backed off, and it proved fruitful. They get the pick. He went through all of his rules about getting rid of the ball quickly because he read blitz. He saw all those people stacked at the line of scrimmage, and then they fooled him by dropping into coverage. Now he's ready to get rid of the ball fast, but guess what? Too many defenders out there. Exactly as you described, an interception. They'll start out on the ground. It's Saquon Barkley. And he'll take this one across the 45 up to about the 46-yard line. And Dominican Sue makes the tackle. It's a pickup of three. On second down, here's Barkley. At the 46. And they're well past midfield, just a yard or two shy of the 40. A gain of 13. It's a first down. How best to describe that one? I'd say right down Broadway on that run. A straight ahead running. I think that that might be something we see a lot of between the tackles today. Well, he's enjoying things so far here this afternoon. Sees a crease and bursts through it for a solid game. First down carry for Barkley. They'll fight forward for a couple down inside the 40. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. 39-yard line. Two yards on the pickup. Now they'll throw it with Ryan. They'll get this to his tight end. It's Janu Smith. 
And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Bengals' 26. First and 10 at the 26-yard line. A give to Barkley out of the gun. And they'll work it inside the 15-yard line before it's all said and done. 12 more yards there and another first down. That's a very nice game there. Confidence-building run. Love the execution up front and the way he pressed the hole. Absolutely perfect. After one. With no score. Second quarter action from Pittsburgh. It is the Steelers in control of the football. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. As they've got it with a third down coming up. They keep it with Barkley on first down. And they get to him quickly here as he stops right around the 13. Jordan just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Brings up second and nine. At the From the shotgun, Ryan. That is caught at the seven-yard line. And he'll be brought down this time at the five-yard line. Eight yards on the completion, but now they face third down. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. Meanwhile, on third down, they take a shot at the end zone, but it's incomplete. And no move to get the offense off the field. They'll stay put on fourth and one. Now, meanwhile, they go for it on fourth down, and my goodness, incomplete. Boy, it looked like he had it and dropped it. And it'll be a turnover on downs. A chance to get some momentum here in the second quarter, getting their first trip into the red zone, but unable to get it across. And if I'm the head coach, sure you feel some disappointment, maybe a little bit of deflation there because you didn't get it in, but I'm going straight to rah-rah mode. All right, guys, we didn't get it this time. It's only the second quarter. We'll be back. Let's get it later on. I want to keep this team up. I want them to feel like they've let everyone down. Positive. You've got to be positive in this situation. It's too early to think that you don't have a chance to win this game. This defense is really pulling around in the first half. They've gotten to the ball carrier before they can really get started. Offense got to come up with something else in order to try and get this running game going. A loss of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11. Freeman. And he takes it all the way up to the 45-yard line. A big run there by Freeman. 41 yards on the ground. What a big run there to get out from the shadow of their own end zone. The defense is probably thinking, hey, let's pin them deep. Not the case. You're exactly right. When I played, we used to have a defensive coordinator in these situations who would call the defense and tag on to it, get a safety, push them back. And sometimes you overcommit on defense, and it worked against them in this play. Offense worked it out very, very well. They run on first down as they get about three, second and seven, forthcoming. Well, that's just a pile of bodies there, and that's when you kind of find out who's a tough guy, right? Who can stand up and make a play? It was only a three-yard run, but for both sides, they had to walk away from that feeling like, okay, I can stand up when the going gets tough in here. They'll try the air now with Herbert. It's hauled in by Brandon Cooks. And they're going to have themselves another first down as the tackle's made at the Steelers' 43. Ten yards there on a Bengal first. Cincinnati. But one of the ways the quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. Herbert on first down now. This taken in by Jakeem Grant. And he's going to get this down near the 30-yard line. 
Another nice gain, 13 yards that time, and another first down. Bengal first down. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. 15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. Well, as we've learned over the years, just because a guy plays left tackle doesn't mean he doesn't have run blocking abilities. And we just saw it there. Controlled the line of scrimmage, created a big gain. That's kind of a bonus. He's there to protect that high value that you have back under center, but he creates space in the run game. Yeah, not only can he dance, he can mash, too. Line of scrimmage, the 15. It's first and 10. Herbert operating from the red zone. That is caught at the seven-yard line. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Give him nine there on the first down completion. At the Steelers' six-yard line. A second down carry for Booker. And he will take it on in for a Bengals touchdown. Devontae Booker, his third touchdown now on the year as his guys are first out of the scoreboard here this afternoon. That almost looked too easy, and I think thanks goes to the offensive line for making it look easy. Yeah, I agree with you totally on that one. I'm not sure how much everyone understands the preparations that go into a game for an offensive line because there's a reason that running backs and quarterbacks give them big gifts at the end of the season after a big year. The consistency and the continuity it takes to know each other and execute their blocks is pretty impressive. Now after the touchdown, here's Rosas on to kick it away. This taken in about four yards deep, and it'll come out to the 25 as he will not attempt to return. The offense takes the field, and we turn our attention to Saquon Barkley. He's been good. They've utilized him well, but they're losing here in the second quarter. What might they change offensively? I think that what you try and do is expand how you get the ball to him a little bit. Get him out in open space, maybe swing the ball to him. What's that they used to call it in the West Coast offense, the long handoff? Yeah. Serve as your running play that way. As runs now may pop bigger later in the game because of the effects of running it. Sometimes people after a while, they don't want to tackle him anymore. Or they get tired or they get out of position or he runs through tackles. Continue to feed him the ball. He's having that kind of game. Yeah, might they get him the ball in some space in some different ways here. Second and six, just inside the 30. the shotgun they run with Barkley he works his way forward for a couple up past the 30. I do know from experience that when you slow down someone's running game you're now doing the dictating on defense and guess what now you're getting ready to tee off on their quarterback because they have to throw it all the time but you still have to be alert for the draws and other plays of that nature to make sure you don't get hurt. From the gun on third down Ryan He'll air this one out for Boyd. The passing game not in sync here early. And now it's fourth down. How about some applause for the defense there? They forced him to throw that one into coverage. And just like that, they're staring at a fourth down. Well done. The Steelers send out their punter now. As he'll punt it away for the second time. His first punt, 48 yards. This one looks equally as good. 40 yards on the punt, two on the return, and possession will switch hands first and 10. Cincinnati set to take over once again. And Charles, if the season ended today, and it's not going to, we still have December Yay, left. More football. <laughs> We're only in November, uh, but they would be a wild card team, and that's great. They'd be in the playoffs, but you know they're trying to bump up to be one of those division leaders. That guarantees you at least one home game in the playoffs, and that's what you're really seeking. But there also isn't much of margin for error for this team, right? Because right where they're sitting, a two-game losing streak could have them out of the playoffs, so they've got to make sure they continue to keep the momentum going. Absolutely. There's some sharks smelling blood in the water behind them. A big hitter to start the drive has him up near midfield here for first and ten. On the draw, it's Booker. 
And he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 45-yard line. Two yards, the loss, second and 12. A loss of two brings up second and 12 at the 45-yard line. Two minutes on the clock, second quarter, 7-0 ball game. A reminder, once we hit halftime, as we do all season, we'll send it down to Jonathan Coachman in Orlando. He'll have all the stats and scores from games in progress around the NFL. The best multitasker in the business, the coach. And he'll get it down to the 47 here. Like the slant route's effective no matter who's running the route and catching the ball. But when you have a receiver of that stature, you have to be a little bit more precise throwing it. You don't have the same catch radius with the bigger targets. Now on third down, a nickel formation here defensively. Here's Herbert. And he's going to find his man out of the backfield. That's complete. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. That third down conversion, good for 23. Let's give a little credit there. The offensive play caller sends that the screen pass was available. Whenever you're getting a lot of heavy pressure towards your quarterback, that's when you're thinking about running the screen and using that pressure against the defense. And it worked very well there for a first down. First and 10, Herbert. Under pressure and down he goes. The second back at the 36. Aaron Donald, he's the one to get him and that is sack number seven for him on the year. Now the Bengals gonna use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. Now Herbert with it, looking to pass. He'll go underneath with it, finding Freeman. The Bengals gonna use the second of their timeouts as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. They have the catch on second down, but it didn't help at all, and now they're looking at third down here. From the shotgun, here's Herbert. Throw complete right side to Cooks. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. They do get 10 back, but still a ways to go on fourth. Now Aldrich Roses for the field goal attempt. On the right hash, it's a 43-yard attempt. Rosas' kick is good. The kick is good. And the lead moves to 10 zip. Bengals 10. Steelers nothing. So chalk that down as an eight-play drive capped with a field goal. Yeah, as a friend of mine used to say, they were moving and grooving for a while, but they couldn't keep the momentum going enough to get a touchdown out of it. And the tackle going to be made right there at the 25-yard line at their own 25-yard line. Pittsburgh set to take over again on offense. And you have to figure they won't just sit on the football here in the final minute. The way things have gone, they need to try to make something happen offensively. But maybe they should. Maybe they should sit on it here because of what you just said. They haven't made anything happen offensively. Getting ready to go into the half, give them a chance to take a deep breath, exhale a little bit, and start over. I don't know if this is the time to push it myself. Yeah, right now under 100 yards of total offense. Now the Steelers use the first of their three timeouts as they stop it here with just under 40 ticks to go in this first half. The Steelers signal for the second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 34 seconds to go before halftime. On first and 10, it's Ryan. We'll get this out to Barkley complete. And he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the 40. Three yards the game there, second down. So many times you hear today's NFL described as a space game. Get your best players into space with the football in their hands. That's why sometimes you just swing it out to your runner, get him out in the flat, and let him have a chance to make people miss an open field. To throw again on second down, Ryan. Looking for Godwin, and he's got him complete. Now the Steelers are going to use their third and final timeout 
As the clock will stop with 21 seconds to go here in the first half. On first down, Ryan. And he'll be taken down by the Bengal pressure. Sacks a growing theme in this first half. This is second and long. So we have reached halftime here, and it's the visiting Bengals out in front. As we'll send you down to Orlando, we check in with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, thank you very much. More from you two in a minute. But first, let's take a spin around the NFL and see what's going on here in week number 10. Lastly, let's check on one final game for you. And you can see they are scoreless as they play the second quarter. Meanwhile, in our game, it's been a defensive struggle. Which offense can break through in the second half? To find out, let's hand it over to our broadcast team of Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. The Bengals set to receive. They have the lead and the football to begin quarter number three. This is Jakeem Grant. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. Return. The Bengals take over first and 10 at their own 24-yard line. The Bengal offense now with a football first here to begin quarter number three. They built a good first half lead. Now they have a chance to add on to it. And what I'm thinking is that the offensive staff spent the entire halftime just working with them on, here's what we think they're going to do to attack us in the second half. Nice first half that we've had, guys, but be prepared for some change-ups. We're going to see them when we kick it off in the second half. See how they handle any adjustments that might be made defensively. Tackle there by Alex Anzalone. Well done to sniff that out defensively. He had it diagnosed pretty quickly. I love that description because diagnosed is perfect on that one. Read his keys, made the play, and he couldn't even get going moving the football. So after the run for no gain, here's second and ten. Operating from the gun. Herbert got his man. That's Tyrell Williams. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Two catches in the first half. Now he's got a third here, and it's good for a first. And now we get into the psychology of the whole thing because a lot of teams with a two-score lead in the third quarter, they almost become defensive with their offense, just playing not to lose. I think with this team, you got to figure at this point, this is a great spot for them to go into attack mode, really try to put the hammer down and finish this one off. Operating out of Steeler territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 47. From the gun, Herbert. And he will find his man on the outside. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight yard gain, second and two. Brings up second and two at the Steelers' 39 yard line. Herbert off of play action. A hit as he throws there, incomplete. So third and two, this quite possibly four down territory, though, if they're stopped. And again, Herbert completes it to Dixon. And he is going to have a Bengals first down by a couple of yards as they're able to get four there on third and two. First time they've looked his way in this game, he comes through picking up the first. And that one was a lot of fun right there because that was the game within the game. Third and short, blitz was on. What's the key for the quarterback? Get out of your hands in a hurry. And that was a quick little completion. Got the job done for a first down. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Out of the gun, it's Booker. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. Booker, the ball carrier. Alex Anzalone on the tackle. A seven-yard pickup. 
Brings up second, operating from the gun. Herbert brought in over the middle by Graham. And they're going to have themselves another first down as the tackle's made at the Steelers' 16. Two catches in the first half. Now he's got a third here, and it's good for a first. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Jacob Hollister, the one he was looking for. And that'll bring up second down. It's second down and 10. To throw again, Herbert. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. An important play right here, third and 10. And I would expect pressure here. And Going to throw on third down with Herbert. And the pressure will get to him. He goes down. Now there is a flag on the play, but this looks like holding on the offense. Third and 10 wasn't going to be easy. Now after the holding penalty, they have to deal with a third and 20. Herbert back to the air. Going right side here, and that's complete. And he'll get it here to the 10-yard line. That'll be a gain of 15 yards. And that'll bring up fourth down. Nice job understanding the situation. Third and long, kept the play in front of them and made the tackle. They gave up a good chunk of yardage, but it does force a fourth down. So out comes the field goal team now for the second time here today. A 27-yard attempt. Rosa's kick is good. And that'll push the lead up to 13 to nothing. 13. Steelers nothing. So put another three on the board. All things considered, a good opening drive to begin the third quarter. And as a defense, the way that this game is going, you're excited to see those points go on the board. Gives them a little bit of leeway to play with when they're out on the field, but they're real excited to see their offense score. Now they get to go out there and do their part. Time for the Steelers' offense now to get set for their first possession of half number two. They find themselves down 13-0 here as they try to get things started offensively. First and 10. Ryan. This short throw caught by Goddard. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. Well, they're unable to convert that into much, but it's never a bad idea to try to get the ball into a tight end of his caliber's hands and see what kind of disruption he can cause. Throwing again on second down. Ryan, oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. 16 yards, a first down. One of the advantages of zone defense, as I remember it, is being able to see the play develop in front of you. One of the disadvantages, when they find those levels where they can hit you with it, sometimes behind the corner and in front of the safety, it makes it tough to defend. They'll throw on first down with Ryan. And the catch made, it's Tyler Boyd. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. Another strong gain on the last two plays. They've moved it a combined 33 yards. That was a nicely run slant route, and what the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route, and then breaks it off, usually after about three to four steps, and cuts towards the middle of the field, and now what he's trying to do is use his body to keep the defender away from the football and give the quarterback a really nice target. Still in search of their first touchdown of the game, but they're on the move, first and 10. Throwing again, Ryan. This is Hamler on the receiving end. And this will go as a gain of seven as he gets it to the 30-yard line. Seven yards, the pick up there. Second and three. At the on second down, Barkley. And he'll be brought down at the 27-yard line. Now after the play, oh man, it's Barkley who appears to be shaken up. He's down. Well, he gets attended to. We'll step aside. Ready. 
throwing now. Ryan on first down. And a quick throw here. That's complete. And down inside the 15 he goes. That's a gain of 13 as they try to whittle away at this 13-point deficit. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. Stiffer challenge now, first and 15 following the delay of game. Here's Connor. And good downhill running. He's got six yards down to the 13. He was taken down by DeForest Buckner. A gain of six brings up second and nine at the 13 yard line. And that is going to do it. That's for this third quarter of action. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. On second and nine, Ryan. And caught in the end zone. Touchdown, Steelers. Tyler Boyd. His second touchdown on the season. And the Steelers have now made this a one-score game. And they use that height on the outside to get the score. We've seen the evolution of the wide receivers. They've gotten taller and taller, but they've retained their quickness and their speed. It's a lethal combination. Always good to have wide receivers with height. Robbie Gold on for the extra point. Make it 13 7. So an eight play drive covering 80 yards. And it ends with the Steelers finding the end zone. After the touchdown, it's Robbie Gold now to kick it away. And not much happening on the return as he'll get this to about the 23. The Bengals take over first and 10 at their own 23. Now the Cincinnati offense ready to see what they can do here. That last touchdown has made this really tight. They're clinging now to this slim lead. What, the, geez, the second half, they only have a field goal. This offense needs to kick it into gear. And right now, I'm looking directly at the field general, at the quarterback, because to me, he's got to take over right now by word, pumping his team up, and then, of course, by deed with his play. My school coach used to say that all the time. Laddie, take over by word and deed. And deed means action. Exactly. Well, sometimes you just have to give credit to the defense. Great job there at the point of attack, holding up. They won their battles at the line of scrimmage, left him no space to try and run. A really nice job swarming to the ball carrier. 30-yard line. Again, the Bengals on third down. They've converted four times out of six. Not bad. This time it's third and three. And this is going to be incomplete. And this is too far behind his man. He missed him. It's incomplete. Incomplete. Allen on to punt as he gets this one away. That'll be a 41-yard punt, just one yard on the return. And the Steelers will go on offense here, first and 10. And Pittsburgh getting set to take the field. And you sense the tide turning. They scored, then their defense forced the punt, and now a chance to ultimately take the lead here late. Now Ryan on first down. He'll find Swift out of the backfield. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. First play of the drive, a success, 19 yards. Defensively, you said coming in earlier in the broadcast, a magic number was 20 points for you. That's what you thought they would have to hold this offense to, or, or less than that. And wow, they've done that in a big way, haven't they? Not only have they done it, they put themselves in a great position to win this one because holding them down was paramount. If they could get it done, well, guess what? We see the end result right now. They have their eye on victory. And leading here in the fourth. 
And that is caught on the right sideline, but out of bounds, says the line judge. The throw took him a little too far. It's second down. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Throwing again. Ryan. Open man Hamler. That's complete. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Bengals' 39. That one good for 14 yards and a Steeler first. First and 10 at the 39-yard line. Delay of game, offense. No! That's going to set him back five yards. Now they need 15 yards on this series after the delay of game. First and 15. Ryan will throw again. That's complete to DeAndre Swift out of the backfield. And to the 36-yard line, taken down there after getting eight yards. A good pick up there on first as the screen pass gets him eight. For a second there, I thought that might break big. Screen pass, looked like it was coming together, looked like there was an opening. Still, ended up with a solid game. Here's a throw over the middle. It's taken in by his tight end. I'll tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it, so it's not that big of a deal to me. And I'm going to keep firing. And he'll get it down this time to the 17. A gain of six there on first. Brings up second and four. At the seven. Looking to throw again on second down. Ryan, he's got Dallas Goddard. His tight end over the middle. And the Steelers are going to have a first and goal as he'll be taken down at the seven-yard line. That catch puts him over 70 yards receiving now as he's got a first down. I love the drive they're working on here because they know they can take the lead with a touchdown. And so far on this drive, so good. They've moved the ball down the field with very little resistance defensively. But they better be prepared for some adjustments to come their way now. Now a throw to the end zone on first down, but it winds up incomplete. And incomplete. Brings up second and goal. They'll try again here from the seven on second and goal. Again, Ryan. Got his man. It's caught for a Steelers touchdown. Janu Smith, his first touchdown on the year. And if the Steelers can convert the extra point, they will have the lead. You got it figured out by the goal line. This is where a tight end earns his money in the high traffic area. And he's able to work free in the middle of the end zone and grabs that one for a touchdown. point and this puts him on top by a penny it's 14 13 a good drive that time as they go nine plays in all and it ends with a pittsburgh touchdown after the touchdown it's robbie gold now to kick it away jakeem grant now to return and a decent return out to the 27-yard line. The Bengals take over first and 10 at their own 27. Cincinnati now ready to take the field. And they will be looking to answer the touchdown their defense just surrendered. Still a good chunk of time remaining here in the fourth quarter and a chance to regain the lead in a tight one. Some good games going on in the early window. This might be the best of the bunch. On first and 10, Herbert. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Jacob Hollister, the one he was looking for. And now it's second down. It's now second and ten. A big spot for the rookie, Herbert. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. As his old brain remembers, when I see five wide receivers on the field as a defender, I know the ball's coming out high. They expected it and got there and popped it free. On third down, Herbert. 
And that will be incomplete. That's an excellent job right there on third down. Like any defense, you never want to let them get anything started. And that would have been a first down. Instead, you saw the contact on time, no penalty. And before this drive could get wings, it's fourth down. Hamler now on the return. Now a hit and a loose football. And the Bengals grab it. Football on the play. Recovered by the kicking team. And now hang on here. The door, can you hear it? It's, it's, it's a little open. Or, or is that the squeaky hinges that I'm hearing right now? Yeah, the door. <laughs> is that too high pitch? No, not at all. The door is open a little bit. It's almost like when you told those horror stories on the camping trip, right? <laughs> and now... Look out. Yeah. We've got a little bit different look on the game at this point. Big momentum swing here in the fourth on the punt fumble. And this is one of those bang-bang plays, Charles. Did the knee hit first or did the ball come out first? This is where you need that 20-20 eyesight, don't you, Brandon? You've got to see which one happened first. If the knee hit the ground, then they will keep possession. Pittsburgh offense at the line to start their next drive. A little less than four minutes remaining, and the margin for error is small with this slim lead. Operate within your four-minute offense here, Charles? Definitely. And remember, the four-minute offense doesn't always correspond to what's up on the clock. What they need to do is play a little bit of keep away right now. Run the clock down. Make sure their opponent doesn't get the ball back. Their dream scenario, get enough first downs and make them yeet up their timeouts so the game ends when you're kneeling down with the football. The Bengal pressure gets him that time. Down he goes. Credit the sack to the Oregon Duck to Forrest Buckner. Well, so much for setting the tone of the drive offensively. Giving up a big sack that loses that kind of yardage, not a great start. This one from about two counties over after the sack. They come up on a second and very long. Mike 51, Mike 51. Another try after the first down sack. Ryan, and he rifles one incomplete. Tyler Boyd, the former Pitt Panther, was the target. And it's third down. This a very important drive, and that incompletion leads to a very important third down here if they're going to try and get the football back. Yeah, getting it back, absolutely crucial to their chances to try and win this game. I would expect a lot of pressure here. They can't afford to let them continue to get first downs and eat away at the clock. They do get nine, but it leads to fourth down. I hate to surrender the football when you're nursing a slim lead, but they're going to have to punt it away. Trust that defense. It's the right play at this stage of the game as well. You don't need to press it here because you do have that little bit of a cushion and you count on your D to make it stand up. Call that a 46-yard punt with a net of 40 on the six-yard return. And that will come the offense as they take over. So now the Bengals down on the scoreboard. 2.22 on the clock. Deuces wild. Plenty of time here. They've got three timeouts and the two-minute warning as they've got it first and 10. Herbert setting up to throw on first down. And that's off the mark, incomplete. The intended receiver was Jakeem Grant. But it's going to be second down. It leads to second and ten. To throw again, Herbert. And he's got his man out of the backfield. That's complete. And give him six yards here as he stopped near the 35 at the 34. They get six. That'll leave him with third and four. This a big play for both sides. What will we see here? Third and four. Herbert now. That's caught by Hollister. And he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Cincinnati. Now it's Herbert. He's going to find his running back. It's complete. Herbert's pass. Five yards on the pickup, and that'll make it second down. Throwing middle, but it's incomplete. Tyrell Williams was the intended target, and it's third down. Now Herbert. This is caught. It's Cooks. 
And he is going to have a Bengals first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. 12 yards there as they keep this drive rolling. It's another first down. There again is Cooks complete. Now the Steelers use the first of their three timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. This is Freeman on first and 10. And he went nowhere. He'll lose yardage back to the 29. Now the Steelers use the second of their three timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Again, they'll run with Freeman. Now the Steelers are going to use their third and final timeout. And as the two teams talk it over on their respective sidelines, we take a break. Third and short, it's Booker. And he picks up the first down yardage as he takes this one down to the 15. Just four yards on the pickup, but that's good enough to extend the drive. I think they like this drive. And this is caught. Touchdown. And they've taken the lead here in the final minute. And there's going to be a stoppage here. The booth wants to take another look at this potential touchdown. The Bengals will line up for the two-point conversion. It took them an extra look, but they found out it is a touchdown indeed. The official says this one counts. Now, here's a look for the end zone, but that one's going to wind up incomplete. Bengals, 19. I don't know about you, but I can't wait for a few years of two-point tries and see what the data tells us, because a lot of teams want to throw the ball in this situation, this time unsuccessfully. I just wonder if maybe running the ball might be the way to go. With it moved up from the three to the two, you would think maybe a few more attempts at running. I, I think stats over time may bear out that running the ball will at least be the equal of throwing it in that situation. Matt Ryan and the offense heading back onto the field. And after a rough start, as we take a peek at the numbers, he's going in the right direction now. So often when you see a game start the way we saw this one start for him, you just wonder if he's got a chance to bring it back at all. And that's exactly what he's done. Love seeing that happen simply because you know a guy has struggled and now he's found a way to make things better. That's pretty good stuff right there. 25 yards that time. And he can't get a throw away. He's taken down. DeForest Buckner able to get in there for his second sack of the afternoon. And that partner, it's safe to say that the secondary really contributed to that sack. Yeah, nickel set, five defensive backs. They covered everything. Nowhere to go with the football. But my question is, why didn't he throw it away? So that'll do it for us, for my partner, Charles Davis, and all the hardworking men and women on our crew. I'm Brandon Gaunt. You've been watching the NFL right here on EA Sports. With that, we sign off from Heinz Field.